Hey everyone, um, so sorry the lighting is so bad, but I am about to go get my hair cut at a new organic salon near me um, that I've just found the other day. I've been wanting um, to get my hair cut for a little while now and I figured I'd find an organic salon because I don't, I've never tried one before. So. Um, I hope it's gonna be good. I don't know what line of products they use, so I'm excited to find that out. Um, so I figured I would just vlog a little bit and I'd kind of show you where my hair is at now and um, then I can show you the after. So right now it's gotten pretty long. It's very layered. Um, I had a curly cut um, earlier this year. I first got it cut in January and then I got it kind of touched up a little bit in I think April or May, um, right before I went to LA. Um, so it's very kind of grown out. The ends are kind of getting gross because I've been straightening it a lot um, since this since the summer. I think I started straightening it again around July. So yeah, it's been a few months of straightening it a lot. So it's pretty damaged now. So I need to get the ends cleaned up. And I'm not going to tell you exactly what I'm going to get done, but it's going to be a little bit different. The color is going to change the same, but the length is going to be different. So here's kind of a whole look how long it is. It goes down to here. This is the longest part of it. It definitely has some much longer layers and then some shorter layers up here. I hope you can see this lighting is so terrible. This is a great first vlog. Oh well. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get going so I'm not late and I'll try to show you the inside of the salon. I don't know if that's gonna happen because this is my first time there. I feel like that would be really kind of awkward. So I don't know if that'll happen, but I will definitely show you an after either tonight once it's done or tomorrow morning once I have it styled. All right, I'll see you soon. What do you think? I'm home and my hair is done. It's short and I have bangs. Um, I haven't had bangs in so long, so I'm really, really excited to have them back. Um, I did have bangs kind of um, earlier this year when I got my hair cut short um, with like a diva cut so that I could wear it curly. I did have curly bangs, but that didn't last long. I um, started, well, first before I even started straightening my hair again, I kind of just pushed them back so that um, they weren't like looking like bangs because I just didn't like the look with curls. So um, yeah, I decided to go a lot shorter. I got about five inches taken off like the longest part. So that was kind of, it was kind of unexpected because I didn't think my hair had grown that much because it's only been like six months or so um, since I last got a haircut. And I don't know, my hair grows really fast but lately it's been falling out so I wasn't sure if maybe it had kind of stopped growing as fast as it used to too because I've been having some some issues with my hair so um that's what's going on with that the salon that I went to was so good um they're called Stellar Salon they're in Norfolk Massachusetts um I don't know if anybody lives near there but if you do you should definitely check it out they're um a natural organic um, salon and apothecary so they have hair products and then they also have their own in-house brand of skincare which is really cool I didn't really have a chance to check that out um, I knew I wasn't gonna buy anything at this point because I just bought all the skincare I need for a while over Black Friday so um, I didn't want to tempt myself but I did end up picking up a hair product um, so one of the lines that they use there is Devine's um, it's an Italian brand, so it's not a hundred percent like natural um, or like it's not like super duper like clean and green. I did notice that this product has dimethicone and fragrance and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if the fragrance is actually naturally derived and just labeled as perfume perfume because it's a European brand. I know they have different requirements um, for labeling fragrance and stuff over there, so that might be something to do with that um but anyway this is a relaxing moisturizing fluid it's for straight controlled looks um basically i think it's just like a balm that's supposed to help kind of relax your hair so since i have really curly hair um and i do like to wear it a little bit straighter it's supposed to help um, make it easier to like blow dry your hair straight and everything like that. So I figured I'd pick that up. She used it in my hair today. And so this is just with a blow dryer. So she did a blowout. Um, so around blow, 
I can't talk. It's it's late. It's like nine o'clock and I worked all day, so I'm tired. Um, so she used a round brush and a blow dryer, no straightener or anything. My hair has never been this straight with just a blowout ever. Like I've had a few blowouts before and usually they have to go back and touch it up with um, a flat iron or a curling iron or whatever. Um, yeah, and this looks really cute. So, um, yeah. Oh, and I also got, what is it called? Where is it? Okay. So they were giving out like little holiday gifts. So I'm sorry if you can like see up my nose. Um, so a little, um, this is the name of the salon. So I just got like a little gift. It had a sample of a product. It looks like a hair oil or something. All the products they use smell so good, by the way. So I don't know, again, if it's that fragrance, wherever it's from, it smells so freaking good. Um, and then I got 15% off a product from their, like, I think it's just their brand because it says any apothecary item. So I'm assuming that's their own in-house brand. And then 40% off the Stellar Scalp Treatment with any service. Um, so that's cool. I was actually looking at that today. I'd already scheduled my appointment, so I couldn't really add it on. But I think next time I'd like to do that because I have issues with like a dry scalp and stuff like that. So that would be cool to try. So I did make another appointment for a couple months out. Um, I really had such a great experience there. Um, Kimberly is the one who did my hair. She did such a great job. Thank you, Kimberly. Um, hopefully next time I can maybe vlog a little bit while I'm getting my hair done. Um, we actually had some really good conversations about, um, she's an esthetician too. And obviously she's into like green beauty and stuff like that. Cause that's the kind of salon she works at. So I don't know. It was just like kind of nice. Um, she told me all about like the products and then, um, she talked a little bit about like where she went to school and stuff. Um, so yeah, she was great. If you are in the area, you should definitely check out that salon. Even if you just go in to like poke around and like look at products, they had like makeup and stuff too. Um, it was really cute. So next time I might try to film a little bit inside, but, um, I will still link below their website and their Instagram and stuff. Um, they're a really great company and I was super happy to be able to find some place so close. It was literally like 20 minutes from my house. So, okay. That's great. I love my hair. Thank you, Kimberly. It looks awesome. Okay. Bye guys.